I'm going to demonstrate how our lot numbering system works. So first of all, if you go into inventory, and I'll just find a, an item we've got set up here. You notice in here we've got the item set as lot numbered. So we've got our choices are non-serialized, serialized, or lot numbered. And then after you've set the item up as being lot numbered, you can tell it how you want it to consume the product. So if you sell it on a sales order, consume by choice means that it will uh, present you with a list of available lot numbers and you choose the one you want. Uh, consuming by the date received means it will automatically grab the oldest to the newest based on date received. Uh, consumed by alphanumeric order means the lot number itself. So we'll choose the, the one with the lowest number first. And consumed by expiration is will consume the oldest expiry date first. So I'll leave it on consumed by choice. And we'll close that off. So first of all, we'll probably be ordering some from our supplier. So let's go into the, the uh, purchases. And we'll create a new purchase order and we'll put a supplier on here and the warehouse we're going to bring it into is a medical warehouse and the item is the same one we just looked at and let's order 150 of them and we'll put the cost a little bit higher because we got a low order this time <coughs> Okay, now we just issue this purchase order, and we could print it. I'll go into it now again, and we're going to receive these. So let's uh, say we received them last month, and we're going to put our quantity in. So we're receiving all 150 of them, and then we're going to put in the lot number. So I had a lot number in my clipboard that I had, just so I could have in that same sequence. Okay, the quantity, we'll choose all of them. And then here, it's taken the date we received it at and added 365 days to it, or for to today. So the date, uh, today's date we're receiving it. So we're backdating this. So we could switch this, we put up here, we put 0305 for our, our, our receiving date. So we could backdate that as well to 0305. And then click OK. And then we'll receive them. So we're creating a vendor's invoice. We'll say yes. Put their invoice number on here. And we'll post it. And we'll close the purchase order. And we can print a report off of these. So it shows here that we received uh, 150 of that lot number. And then it will also print a report of any customers waiting for some as well. So we have a, a customer that are waiting for four of them. OK, so they've re we've received some of those. We can also adjust inventory, so we click on the adjust area, and we go new. So let's say we want to transfer some to our other warehouse. So we'll transfer from the med warehouse to our default warehouse. And again, we'll pick the clamps, and we'll transfer 50 of them. And that lot number that I just received is this one down here. So I click OK. And I can print or post that off. And again, I can print off reports for it showing what I just uh, did. So we've shown how we can receive them, transfer them, and then you can also use that same adjust module to actually adjust them out of stock. But now, of course, we want to sell some to a customer. So we'll go into sales. And we'll click new. And as we pick a customer, choose nursing home here and then they're going to buy from the medical warehouse so I can look that up and change over and again those clamps okay so they're going to take 12 of them so it pops up a list of all the available lot numbers that, that we have in the system so I can choose that one there say and then click OK and it puts the lot numbers on here. And and if they didn't uh, take all the same lot number, you can change that as well. So if you want to take, say, six of those and six of those, you can do that as well. And 
how we do that is invoice it on account and if we print that invoice you'll see that on our invoice it shows the lot numbers that we purchased so six of those ones and six of those ones okay so in our we go to our inventory item now and we want to see what the what the disposition of that item is that lot number that we've been working on there so we go into here and we go into the the uh, lot number tab for this particular item and there's our lot number we've been working mostly with there and we got other ones here actually this one here has more history on it so let's choose look at this one here and you'll see that uh, we have a total of 364 of them available we have uh, we've transferred five out we've uh, uh, had six on a sales order there we had uh, 400 on a purchase order again there and then uh, then we had some more sales on it and we transferred some out there's a T number there for transfer out and then more sales of six units there now of course we want to be able to print that so we just hit the print button right up next to the lot number there's a couple of reports we have in here let's preview them so that shows again the disposition the purchase there the invoice the, all the sales on this side and all the purchases and transfers are on this side so we can see that three different people have bought it or two different people same customer twice we show that we have the uh, lot number the remaining quantity and I hadn't put an expiration date on it when I received this particular lot number so it doesn't show there and then our other reports got a bit more detail on it it's exactly what invoice numbers and who the customers full name and all that to who they were sold to so there's all the information so basically if you're asked to do an audit on a particular lot number you can do so within uh, just a couple of minutes uh, once you know the lot number and the item you can just go straight to it and print the reports off so that basically shows you the complete traceability of our program all the way from the receiving of the item uh, right through to the selling of the item and if the item was used in production it would also show up here as as moved around uh, if it was a a raw material lot number it would uh, show as being uh, used up on a production order.